Luftfront Scannerbank 42. In English, Anti-Air Scannerbank 42, or LVKV 42 for short. The LVKV 42 was developed by the Swedish arms manufacturer Bowers on request from the Swedish Army as the 1950s next generation Swedish SPAA following the 1940s limited production LVKV FM 43 SPAA. Two prototypes based on a new original chassis design was built and delivered for testing late December 1953 and early January 1954, respectively after various delays. In the end of the project was scrapped as SPAs with integrated radar became more necessary. And of course, in War Thunder, the most enjoyable experience comes from the 40mm gun it carried, which is known as the Bofors L70. By the end of World War II in 1945, the advent of turbojet powered warplanes had increased the speed of attack so greatly that the Bofors L60 gun could not possibly loft sufficient rounds to counter warplanes between the time they were spotted made their attacks and flew out of range. In order to counter these threats, the gun needed both longer range and higher rate of fire, thereby increasing the number of rounds fired over the period of an engagement. Bofors considered either updating the 40mm weapon or creating a much more powerful 57mm design. But finally, they did both. The Bofors Evacan M48 40mm single AA gun mounting was first produced in prototype form in 1947 and began to enter service with Sweden in 1951. The weapon is now known generally as the Bofors 40L70 and marks the high point in the process of continuous development since 1928. The Bofors 40L70 remains one of the most powerful light weapons in the world operating in both the surface-to-air and surface-to-surface -surface roles. The performance results from the weapon's high rate of fire, good range, and excellent ammunition. It is found on four different carriages, namely the M48, M48C, M48D, and M48R, of which the last two can be used with radar-directed fire control system. Back to the game. LVKV-42 is the only rank 4 anti-air in the Swedish tank type 2. Battle ratings are Arcade 5.0, Realistic 4.3, and Simulator 4.3. The total weight is 13.5 tons and powered by a 200 horsepower engine, which makes this anti-air has the maximum speed of 61 kph. LVKV-42 can accommodate 5 crew members, 1 driver, and 4 on the turret. One thing that impressed me is its firepower. It has the fire rate of 240 shots per minute with only 0.6 seconds of reload between each 8 rounds, whereas unfortunately the maximum storage of ammunition is 104 rounds, which makes it quickly run out of ammunition when engaging several threats. But with turret rotation speed of 60 degrees per second, LVKV-42 is still a remarkable anti-air that was to play. If you want to play in the other ways like Tank Destroyer, that will work perfectly as well. Now let's talk about shells. War Thunder offer player three types of ammunition, the default, M36C and M43. Default consists of one AP shell and one high explosive shell. The AP round's highest penetration is up to 95mm, which could penetrate most of the time at battery rating 4.3 to 5.0. M36, 3 high explosive shell and 1 AP shell. M48, 3 semi armor piercing high explosive intensity shell and 1 high explosive shell. Personally, I would say this is the best combination among those three choices. So it only has 66mm of penetration. It has a really really shocking lethality since it's using the SAP HEI. In most cases, given an example like a Sherman, one shot from side is enough to kill all crew members inside it, as well as the T-34. What about the gameplays? If you only want to shoot planes, just sit inside your base, grab yourself a cup of coffee, swap to HE rounds and shoot those planes. If you want to kill tanks, 
Inside this vehicle, you really gonna be sneaky as possible. Most of the time, your enemies will be KB-1, T-34, and some American tanks. The reason why you sh need to be sneaky is it's almost impossible to penetrate KB-1. I would recommend you to hide at some places, waiting for your enemies, and kill them when you have their sides or their backs.
overall, uh, Wikiwi 42 is an excellent mid-tier anti-air with a powerful cannon. It can perform surprisingly good in both anti-tank and anti-air missions. However, the ammunition storage can be really frustrating sometimes, so do watch your ammo status. And keep it in mind, it will be a fun anti-air to play, so take care and I will see you in the next video.